In this session, I'm going to talk to you about highly effective goal setting. How do you create crystal clear goals and then generate the momentum and the motivation you need to get you through all of the process and all of the action that you need to take in order to achieve that goal? What's the, what's the formula for success when setting and achieving your goals? And there's a lot to be said for structure. I know structure can sometimes sound a little boring, a little tedious, but actually structure is really important. And when you consider goal setting and this time of year when most of us have maybe a week or some, for some lucky people, maybe even a couple of weeks where you get the chance to reconnect with your family and you spend some time just kind of thinking about your life, there's never a better time to look at your goals than when you've got that freedom of thinking and you allow yourself some kind of headspace. So the important steps in setting goals, getting the steps in the right order is absolutely critical to, to defining and achieving goals. So, so let's walk through a really simple four-step model. And it's asking the right questions of yourself and your goals in the right order. So the first question is always, what do I want? Or what goal am I going after? So you start there and you start getting really clear. What specifically do I want and when do I want it? So that's the first piece. What do I want? When do I want it? The next piece is, is more, more, the most important part of the process. And that is understanding why you want to achieve that goal. What will it give you as an outcome? Once you have it, what will you have achieved? What are the reasons that you want to achieve that goal? Or those goals, depending on how many you're working on. Then the next stage, depending on, how, on the size and scale of the goal, if you're going to achieve something transformational in your life, and let's be honest, if most of us uh, were, were honest with ourselves, that's exactly what we want, then you, the next question, instead of going straight to your plan from here, which is what most people do, if it's a significant change in the way you operate, then you're gonna have to change who you are. And in many instances, that really does redefine your identity. So who do I need to be in order to achieve a goal of that size or a change in my life of that magnitude? Really important to be absolutely clear on who that person needs to be in the future. And then once you're clear on those three things, actually that will drive enough motivation. If you can get clear on those three steps, that will drive your motivation. And before you know it, the final step of the goal setting, which is how do I achieve it, or the plan of action, uh, becomes almost automatic. You're so motivated if you get these first three steps right, that actually the plan just drops into place. You'll find this, this is effortless, this final piece here. And you'll notice that uh, there is a, a, a mnemonic here. So goal, reasons, identity, plan of action. So in order to remember the process in which you ask yourself those questions, just think about getting a grip on your life. How do I get a grip on my life and my goals? This is the process and structure I use when I review and renew my own personal and business goals. I hope you found it valuable. And I also hope that during the Christmas and New Year period, you have a chance yourself to review your goals for 2019 and beyond. And as you look forward and get some clarity on where you're going and why that's important to you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas break. My next session will actually build on this process and start to look at all of the areas in your life where you could and should be setting goals. So we'll cover that in the next series.